Welcome to the Cornell Milk Quality Improvement Program and Cornell Dairy Extension Pod Module Series on the Voluntary Shelf Life Program. In this module, we will give an overview of the VSL program, what participating processors will get from the program, how samples are collected and handled, what testing is performed, and an overview of the test interpretation modules in this series. There are a total of six modules in this VSL program series. The VSL program is a long-standing benchmarking program designed to monitor the quality and shelf life of fluid milk products processed in New York State. We use detailed microbiological, chemical, and sensory analyses to provide informative feedback to participating processors in order to facilitate quality improvements in fluid milk. This program is supported by the New York State Dairy Promotion Advisory Board through dairy farmer checkoff dollars and is provided to New York State fluid milk processors at no cost. Our goal is to provide participating processors with detailed feedback regarding the quality of their fluid milk products throughout shelf life. These results will provide insight into opportunities to improve product quality. For example, our testing may indicate that there is evidence of product recontamination after pasteurization or post-processing contamination. This type of contamination is often introduced because of deficiencies in cleaning and sanitation programs, preventative maintenance, or through cross-contamination. Using the data generated through the VSL program, the processor will be able to quickly react to these situations in order to prevent premature product spoilage. Further, data generated as part of the VSL program is used to determine the winners of the annual New York State Fair Fluid Milk Awards. New York State processors who submit the required samples are automatically entered into this competition in one or more categories, including Overall Best Milk Award, Small Processor Award, Chocolate Milk Award, and Flavored Milk Award. These awards are unique opportunities for New York State fluid milk processors to market and promote their products. Beyond shelf life data, our program provides unparalleled extension expertise to VSL participants. Each participating processor is assigned an extension agent who will not only provide interpretation support for VSL data, but will also provide in-plant assistance as needed. When issues arise at the plant, our program provides additional product testing and extension support to participating VSL processors. Approximately every six months, each participating processor is scheduled to send samples for VSL testing. Typical samples collected include pasteurized whole, 2%, 1%, and skim milk in various sizes and packages in order to identify quality patterns for different products and corresponding processing equipment. Sampling also includes chocolate and other flavored milk products, as well as a raw milk sample which should be collected to represent the raw material used for the pasteurized product processed. Processors receive a shipping kit which includes a cooler, ice packs, and detailed sampling and shipping instructions. Project and extension staff are available to answer questions or provide support as needed. Finally, samples are shipped overnight to Cornell using the prepaid shipping label provided. When samples arrive at the Milk Quality Improvement Program Laboratory, our staff distributes pasteurized milk samples into separate sterile bottles for shelf life testing. This strategy allows us to sample the same product multiple times throughout shelf life while reducing the risk of contamination. However, when bacterial contaminants are at low level concentrations to begin with in a sample, for example, only one or two bacterial cells in a container of milk, this can sometimes lead to inconsistent shelf life results. Samples are held at 42.8 degrees Fahrenheit throughout shelf life, which is a slightly stressed temperature used to mimic consumer refrigeration conditions. Holding product at this temperature will result in faster outgrowth of bacterial contaminants compared with lower temperatures often used for retained samples in the processing facility. Periodically through shelf life, each product is tested for microbiological, chemical, and or sensory quality. Extension staff can provide additional information for interpreting results based on VSL sample handling. Raw milk samples are tested only on the initial day of testing. Tests include standard plate count, coliform count, laboratory pasteurization count, cyclotolerant bacteria count, 
a spore panel that consists of cytotolerant, mesophilic, and thermophilic spore counts, as well as freezing point and butterfat analysis. Pasteurized product is tested throughout shelf life for either 14 or 21 days, depending on a number of variables, including the stated product code date and past product quality from individual processors. On the initial day of testing, which usually falls within the first 48 hours of processing, products are tested for standard plate count, coliform count, total gram-negative bacteria count, sensory analysis, and chemistry, which includes freezing point and butterfat analysis. Throughout shelf life, products are tested for standard plate count and gram-negative bacteria count on days 7, 10, and 14, as well as days 17 and 21 after processing for a subset of processors. Samples are also tested for sensory analysis, specifically defect judging, on day 14 and 21. You can learn more about VSL testing and how to interpret these results by watching the remaining modules in this series, including standard plate count, coliform count, total gram-negative count, laboratory pasteurization count, and sensory evaluation. Thank you for watching this module. If you're interested in taking classes with us, learning more about our research, or participating in our voluntary shelf life program, please refer to the information on this slide.